are here. I am not at home because I have work. But I'm on my way home. But I am smart enough to figure out how to go live. And because my computer is always on, <clears throat> because my computer is always on, I am able to see. I'm able to see what people are talking about. And what I'm able to see is uh, my computer from a remote desktop. So this is excellent for me. So good morning, everybody. How you doing? My name is Hero. I am the host of the Identity Booth. And you are on the Identity Booth. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. And we have a lot to talk about. We have some recaps. So much is happening right now. And we are... <laughs> Jess, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, bro. Uh, we have a lot to talk about right now. The stock market is in a shambles. In shambles. And it's partly be... You know, there's a part of me that wants to say... They brought it on themselves, right? Okay, so just a quick update. What you're looking at in the top left corner is going to be the stocks that we are following right now. Uh, a lot of red. Uh, K-O-S-S. That's my baby right now. I am up 200% on that uh, call. And full disclosure, uh, for the remainder of this stream, I am not a financial advisor. I've noticed a lot of people in my DMs. I got over 100 DMs. People, I am not a financial advisor. I am better suited to cut a pair of lungs out of your chest and probably save your life. Uh, please, 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 please always seek financial advice. And hey, what's up, Nafi? Sorry, <laughs> the boot boss is in the building. Um, once again, please uh, seek financial advisement and information if you want further information. But what my goal is right now for today is to tell you guys um i have to go live because robin hood is being is there's a class action lawsuit being filed and it's being filed by the wall street bets uh let's go to their main subreddit uh and let's just take a look at their their boards for today because it is literally what is happening right now on wall street bets is kind of crazy so this is the daily discussion for part two, but Robinhood is banning GM trading needs to be heard. Let me make our voices heard. Robinhood is limit, li, limiting, <laughs> legitimately hiding these stocks. Yeah, like if you don't have a Robin, if you only have a Robinhood account, it is time to get a Weibo account. Uh, you need to get another account. You need something else because they are actively stopping people from trading the stocks uh this is from twitter Robinhood is legitimately hiding no nokia amc gme and naked from search internet uh psychology 101 this will only make things worse for the wall street it's like you guys don't understand right you guys don't understand the consequence of your action um and we'll go over what led to this but for right now let's talk about the title of the story which is the class action lawsuit uh, getting blown the fuck up today. Uh, this is so irresponsible what Wall Street is doing right now. And this is the class action lawsuit thread, right? So this is a discussion thread that's going on. And the class action lawsuit is legitimate. You know, stocks, stock trading and all that bullshit was considered to be a high end contract type shit you know it was the, it was the considered to be high class we have six people watching right now so i'd greatly appreciate if you guys could all like share and subscribe to the channel help small youtubers our goal is to get three new subs man share this with somebody it, it, you might have to you know send this link to somebody in a text message you know you might have to really like pull this out and text it to somebody because that's how you really get engagement we're trying to get that engagement on i can't <laughs> Can't call you, Nafi. Can't call you. I gotta get these subs up, baby. <laughs> oh man! But basically, this class action lawsuit is is a real is 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 legitimate, right? And I'll be home in like ten minutes, guys. So I'll be able to get the camera on and everything. This class action lawsuit is legitimate. There's grounds for it because think about it, man. The stock market has always been seen as this 
this pretentious vagabond type bullshit you know like i i financial literacy has been gatekept has been gatekept by 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 high end social lights you know the 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 i need my crumpets and tea bullshit you know it is ridiculous how long it took regular people to learn about the stock market and then even after learning about it the bar entry was so high you know Ten dollars. You gotta put ten dollars down to buy a one dollar stock, and you don't have any of the booklets or the pamphlets or anything like that, right? You don't have anything that will help you better decipher what information to get and what other things to go buy. Like none of that stuff was available to us. These hedge fund owners and these managers, they have best friends to bail them out. Uh, what's the name of the company from yesterday? That, that shorted, that tried to short GameStop. They are out $3 billion. But they have friends to bail them out. Alibaba, go fuck yourself, man. They were able to bail these companies out. That was There was no such thing. There was no such thing for, like, people in the housing market during the collapse, during the crisis, right? None of that was available to us. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, but uh, priorities, priorities, priorities. None of that was available. Think about all the people that are trading right now, right? Think about all the people that are trading right now. All the people trading are people who lived in 2008, you know, who were there for the housing crisis. When, when their mom and dads lost their houses and they couldn't get anything on Christmas or their life was put into a, a, a tornado of shambles. They're the guys trading right now. They're the people in this group right now. They're the voices trying to be heard. And and they will get their vengeance. They will have their vengeance. You can't mess with people for this long and expect no consequences. Financial literacy is not only the issue, it's the gatekeeping that's an issue. This is a an, this is gatekeeping on the financial district that I've never seen. They had the balls yesterday to say, where are the regulators? Go fuck yourself. Where were the regulators when 300,000 Americans lost their houses? When 1 million people were homeless immediately? When they were bulldozing the ghetto? To make parking lots because of foreclosures. Nah, man. You got to feel every piece of this. And this is why I'm staying in these stocks. Let it burn. Let it burn. Robin, your Robinhood account is not working right now. I'll put a Webull account in the chat. But let all that shit burn. It's got to go. Because the truth is, right... What's the truth? They watched you suffer. And now here they are clutching their pearls. Oh my God. Where are the regulators? How do you regulate the people? You can't. Not when they're angry. Not when they're angry. You got to feel every piece of this. So let's talk a little bit about it, right? And I'm putting in a... I'm putting in chat right now. There's a lot going on, so excuse me if I'm a little bit of shambles. But there's seven people watching. That is so good to see. All my Facebook family, man. Facebook identifiers, say what's up. Oscar, are you in here? I hope you in here, Oscar. I hope you in here. Uh, it shows that I'm live, baby. It shows that I'm alive, baby. Well, yeah, and I'm just we're about, we're just about to talk about that too, Jesse, because like Weibo actually Weibo has bigger issues. Weibo is literally shut down right now. Weibo is literally shut the fuck down because there's too many people online. So let's talk about this class action lawsuit. Let's like this is going to definitely make headwind. So we are definitely breaking stories. You guys are part of breaking history. And shout out to Wall Street Bets. You guys are been on it. I've been I'm a <laughs> I'm a donator to this. You guys have made me money in the past few weeks, so full disclosure. But uh the biggest fraud of them all, uh democratizing finances for all, except when it manipulates the markets cause it, markets cause 
cause too many order ordinary people are getting rich this is so true robin hood is democracy like robin hood is such a shell of itself there's such shields man there's such shields there's such fucking shields and the reason why i can say that they're shields of themselves is because the, the robin hood in the beginning of the let's let's like there's so, like i'm so disorganized but let's talk about robin hood real quick because robin hood did give people a gateway a, a way in free trades free stocks i made i made 15 dollars and 34 cents you feel me 15 dollars and 34 cents was all i had in my robin hood account when i first started it i have a whole video on my playlist it's in my uh trade tribe group check it out and that was my gig like that was my thing i was like you know 15 dollars and 34 cents is all i'm going to put into this and that was in march and now i have three separate accounts with each a thousand dollars in them or a thousand dollars plus my robin hood is like a thousand eight hundred right now by no means am i like a big time trader i never wanted to be I'm a dividend investor. You feel me? I I, I have, and I noticed some people were asking me for my dividend uh, chart. So if you guys uh, talk, if you guys want that dividend chart still, uh, let me know. Put it in the chat that you want to see it, and I'll put my dividend chart up there so everyone can see it. We have nine people watching with me right now. I love you guys so much. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Support the small YouTubers. Support them. Support them. We need it. But uh, real quick. I'm trying to put this link in here so you guys can see it. Um, Robinhood did give us the opportunity to trade, and that was luxurious, right? Just, just imagine, and you want to know what the crazy part is? The eight free stocks I got off of Robinhood, uh, like of all of them, they were Robinhood uh, gave me GameStop. I got GameStop for two dollars and fifty four cents at one point. I had I have eight shares of Rob of, of GameStop. I sold four when it got to 120. Now I'm keeping the rest. Let it burn. I'm okay with this. Robinhood did give us the gateway of entry. So if you're le leading this now, top left corner, you need to be looking at that top left corner. Those are the stocks that are pushing. I'm going to try and switch them out and rotate them up here. But we'll we'll get into all of that. So Robinhood did have the opportunity to like really help us out. What up, Can Can? I'm still waiting on them pictures. Still waiting on them pictures. We got six people on YouTube right now. I love that. I love that. I love that. I just put my uh, I just put my Webull account in there, and it's just important to diversify. That is a lesson that they teach you in finances. It's the same thing for brokerages. I have three brokerages. I use Robinhood. I use Webull. I use TD Ameritrade. There's diversifying your money is important because when one shuts down, you have another account to make plays on there's a bunch of people on robin hood right now who cannot make plays and that is disappointing we got 11 people in here keep sharing this shit y'all i love y'all so much the important the importance of diversification is paramount right now because people are stuck on robin hood while i'm still able to trade full disclosure i am part of the hype i am part of the problem i got beef with the financial district you goddamn right as a person who has done okay during the pandemic, I have a job. I've had my insurance. I'm fine. But I've, I've had to watch people suffer. Nah, man. It does something to you. When you have to watch your people suffer, people hitting me up and shit, talking about, can you help me with my finances? I'm not a financial advisor. I, I'm fortunate to have people I know. Trade Tribe, shout out. If you're watching this right now, I only got two likes on uh, YouTube and seven people are watching. That's all I'm saying. You know, I ain't, I ain't trying to be bougie or nothing, but I just, you know, I could use just, okay, I got a three three likes now. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm not being bougie. But no, nah, man, how long do you think you can take from the people before we get pissed? Before, before some bad shit starts to happen, right? How long do you think you could take from the people before we just say no? Nah? We're not, what you mean we can't take it? There, Robin Hood is facing so many lawsuits. But the thing that, the thing that bothers me about Robin Hood, the thing that bothers me about Robin Hood uh, for profit is that they sold themselves on this illusion of access. 
and I'm okay and I'm okay with Robin Hood going down. I don't think they will. But if it is and you only have one brokerage, you're in trouble. You're going to get hit. So first and foremost, if I am going to give any piece of advice, please diversify your 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 shit. One. And then two, don't don't be don't play victim to the market. Don't play victim to the market. There's so much money out there right now, and it's crazy to me that people aren't taking advantage of it. So let's talk about how we got here, right? Um, let me Google this so I'm not lying to you. Let me let's talk about how we got here, right? Because that is a big component. There, uh, for all you guys that don't know, right? Robinhood is Robinhood is a trading account and all that good stuff. But um, I believe it's like the Melvin who sh like. Let me Google this. Who shorted? Who shorted GameStop? Because they're the financial group that caused all this. Um, What's the name of the company? It starts with an M. Melvin Capital. There we go. And Citron. Melvin Capital and Citron. That's where our story begins. So basically, right? And I'm going to keep scrolling down this GameStop. Look at GameStop right now, baby. That's that's what that's what I love to see. That's what I love to see. I'm not looking at my stock portfolio anymore today because I trust the internet. <laughs> I trust the internet. And it's not that I trust the internet. I just the what is what is what is what is the what is the, the the theory here, right? The theory is the internet is undefeated. The internet is undefeated. Therefore, if you bet on the internet, you cannot lose. And this is a prime example. I have some jokes I want to throw out there. One, what gamers are the worst and best type of people we are toxic as fuck gamers we have some good gamers we have some bad gamers we have some racist gamers uh, the first time i first time a kid learned the n-word was on the on on a call of duty chat room on on his xbox sure gamers are trash but gamers have the ability to move a market that's what we do we're good at this we're good at messing with conventional wisdom. You gonna really try and mess with a person who knows cheat codes? C C H E A T dot com. The original cheat codes. You feel me? You gonna try and mess with a game? Let me, oh, let me hold on. Hold on one second. I'm I'm about to get my camera on here. Hold on one second. Let me get my camera on for you guys. Hold on. We, we about to go in right now. We about to go in right now. Hold on. Let me get my camera. Hey, we got nine people watching right now. I'd appreciate a subscribe or something like that. Let me get my camera on. Just walk through the door. Let me get my camera on for y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got, man, we got nine people watching this right now. What up, though? I see you, ET Facts, man. Come through, man. We need some subs right here. We got nine people on YouTube. We need somebody to subscribe to the channel, please. Somebody subscribe to the channel, please. <laughs> um here we go here we go here we go all right let's go back let's go back hey there he is the sexy devil he is all right so right what was he saying you gonna really mess with gamers that's your that was your game plan 10 people on youtube watching right now that's love i love you guys so much thanks identifiers you gonna mess with gamers the people who specialize in cheat codes, who have infinite ammo, headbands. You're going to mess with the people who made CD Projekt Red, Cyberpunk, the, that was supposed to be the most popular game of the year, and throw them through the dirt with zero conviction. Not an issue for us. You're going to mess with gamers? Nah, bruh. We not going. We not going. We are some of the worst people to mess with. And this is further proof. Hey, if you have a Gmail account, why don't you head over to my Twitch account 
It's right there in the link below. And join the Twitch account because uh, if you have a Gmail account, you already have a Twitch account. So you might as well like, share, subscribe, and follow on Twitch. Uh, the underscore identity underscore booth. Same channel, same purpose. And I go live there too. And the live is faster. So you'll get to see my responses faster on the Twitch account. Not saying, but Twitter, YouTube, hey, pick your poison. So now that we have, and like, let's talk a little bit more about gamers. We are capable of bullying developers and multi-billion dollar companies. It, a multi-billion dollar company will put out a trash bag ass game. Diamond Hand Boys, baby. <laughs> you already know. You already know. Shout out to David M, man. Oh, we got a sub. Who sub? What's that? Okay, okay. I see you. Appreciate the sub. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. We Diamond Hand Boys. I love to see it. I love to see it. Let me get this. Uh, let me get my alerts on front and center, man. Let me get my alerts front and center for you guys because y'all deserve to be recognized. I appreciate you guys coming in here, talking with me. Mr. What's up, bro? <laughs> what up, brody? All my all my party people in here. Thank you guys so much for joining up. Um, Where we at? All right, cool. That's on there. Somebody from Texas joined in. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. Um. So we got multi-million dollar companies like Bethesda and all these people who spend billions of dollars on video games and we'll and we won't buy it. We won't put up with it. Your microtransactions, we stop doing that. You're gonna adhere, you're going to adhere to a gamer. We don't mess around. You feel me? So it baffles me that these boomers. These boomers in the stock market think they about to come up here and bully us. Are you out of your mind? Is this what you want? Melvin Capital, right? So let's talk about it. How did we get here? How did we get here? Melvin Capital is a hedge fund conglomerate. And basically what they do is manage people's money. And GameStop is a company that has been going out of business for years. No lie. GameStop is, by all conventional wisdoms, one of the worst companies you could invest in in 2021. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And you want to know what conventional wisdom will tell you to do? Short. But why? And just so you guys know, in layman terms, a short is basically a put or a, a bet that you think a stock is is going to go go down basically you think it's not going to be as expensive as it is i can go into details with that a little bit more but just so you know what a short is it means you think a company is going to fail and melvin capital is one of these companies gamestop had had a great idea in the 90s a store where people can go and buy shit for video games a thing that is super popular all the time Go buy some shit. Yeah, it's a, it was a brilliant idea. Not going to lie. But they kind of squandered that. How? They didn't they didn't get on the bill of innovation. All my video games, all my video games that I play now, I buy online. I have a hard drive. I have a six terabyte hard drive that I just download all the games on there. I download all my games now. Um... It's easier. COVID happened. So transactions. And, and you know, GameStop had a bad rep at the beginning of the pandemic, being calling themselves a uh, necessary, necessary work, handing out video games. It's turned into hot topic. GameStops today, after closing 300,000 stores, have turned into hot topics. I love hot topic. I'm I'm weeb trash though. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. I can live with that. I listen to pop rock. I'm okay with that. I am not a person you want as a DJ. Uh shout out to RTJ. <laughs> um but I get that, you know? So they squandered a lot. And because of this, they let Melvin Capital CEO get on the board. 
I'm hey once again, Oscar. I'm betting on the internet, bro. I got into these stocks when they were a fraction of the price that they are today. So I'm still winning, and I'll I will I will break even before I I let myself out. Honestly, honest to God, I will let myself break even before I get out. But if you're at least if you're one cent above the raft, I'm keeping you. I don't care because. I've already made my scalp for it. I have already made my money for it. I have a $35 interest. <laughs> hot topic went from golf to fuck his spit. Hey, you know, Portland, Portland, Oregon, they love hot topic, man. So I can't knock it. I love Portland, Oregon, Oregon. But basically, <laughs> you're funny as shit. <laughs> but basically, right? They squandered it. So they let Melvin Capital CEO on the board and he berates them. He destroys them. And a bunch of a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of people on Twitter do not did not like that shit. A bunch of people on Twitter did not like that shit. They did not like that shit on the accords that one, you're not about to talk bad about people, people's childhood. Hot top, like, oh, not even hot topic. Uh, fucking GameStop holds a very passionate part in people's. I got my first holographic Charizard that is still in the fucking wrapper in my mama's basement, going right now for twelve thousand dollars. It's in the basement of my house. My mom doesn't even know it. She is literally housing so many Pokemon cards she could pay off the mortgage of her house right now, and it's sitting in my basement at home that's where i got my first holographic charizard that's where i got my first holographic zapados with the 90 hp and the 100 of hit points go get fucked it holds a warm place in people's hearts so when you purposely mess with that you're asking for trouble you're asking for trouble don't incriminate yourself on this stream sir Hey, you already know. You already know. Got the sleeves color. I, I got. I still have that shirt, by the way. I still have that shirt, hiding, hiding. The sleeves are cut off. I'm so. I'm so. I'm such a badass. I'm such a badass. Um. So what happened then, right? So they start berating this company, and they're not, and they're not going for it. They're not having it, right? And with that being said, they took it upon themselves to set up a situation because they knew they were on the board. So they saw an increase in the price. But now that they're on the inside of the company, which is GameStop, they can see that, oh, no, this is a this is a sinking ship. We're going to short this because it's going to have a little bit of momentum. And this is if this isn't the definition of insider trading, I don't know what is being able to buy back your stocks. Knowing what this what is going to happen is madness on a scale that I'll never understand. Where were the financial regulators now? There are none. There's none to be seen here. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. The link to the whoever's asking for the whoever's asking for the link and stuff is all you gotta go to Reddit. I'll put that in the link. Uh, once it goes up, but they now have an insight into the company, right? Uh, shout out to the people that have just subscribed to the channel. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, means a lot. Got, I'm one. I'm one sub Twitch sub away from hitting my goal for the day. So that'd be awesome. Get this to twenty up there. Um, they have this situation going on. And they're now on the inside. They're doing all the bullshit that they want to do. So they set up a short. And once again, let's explain the short now in a little bit more in depth. They see that, let's say, for example, the stock price of, of GameStop had been at $5 all year round. And when they joined the board, it went up to $10. In their minds, they know the differential of what it is. They know the delta, which is going to be the gap between that 10 and 5 which is $5. So they can set up a situation where they short the market. And by shorting the market, they know 
that this company is going to fail because they are in the they're on the inside. They can see this. They don't need to pretend like they don't know. They know that the market is going to soil itself when it comes to GameStop because they're on the inside. So they take that put. They take that short. And they and that's announced that's unknown to anyone who's on the outside. Now, if you've been like me who got a free stock of Game stock and just use them for their dividends, then you know that this isn't going to be an issue. But there was a bunch of people, a bunch of Gen Zs, probably definitely a bunch of, you know, millennials, definitely me, who felt some type of way about this. Like not like they, they were or it's like be, it's like kicking a hurt dog. That was the literal visceral reaction I had to this. Like GameStop is dead, and here's somebody some. Uh, I can't believe you wasted all your billion dollar potential. You're kicking down. No one likes a fuck boy that punches down. It is in, it is infuriating to see someone punch down. You gotta be shitting me. And and we saw Melvin Capital do it. Melvin Capital had took out a three billion dollar short. Do you know what type of balls you got to have to be able to say this? And this is why. Look at the, this is the market manipulation right here. You can trade options, you can sell, but you can't buy anything. The bullshit that is Robinhood, right? The bullshit that is Robinhood. It's infuriating. Put, let's put an F in chat right now for Melvin Capital. Please, let's put an F in chat for Melvin Capital. Because what happened next is glorious. Shout out to the 13 people we're at our record right now for people who watched our stream consecutively. Thank you guys so much. I love you identifiers. Continue to identify with us as we identify with you. I know Eric is cringing right now, but that's that's the old slogan. Put an F right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Because Melvin Capital poked the bear and the bear bought. The bear bucked, you know? The bull gave you the horns. And the reason why it happened is because the short only works if you know the company is going to fail. So what did everybody in the free market do? They bought GameStop. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, why would you buy GameStop if someone's betting against it? Well, that is conventional wisdom, right? That's what you want. You want the premium. So they bought these stocks at a $5 premium, at a $10 premium. And their goal is to sell it at the five dollar premium, gaining them five dollars. So even though they lost money, lost money in the market conventionally, they've gained because it's been shorted. That's the idea. Oh yeah, Cash App, all of them, like all these companies are in on it. I think this, I think this is going to fracture the stock market, and and we have Trump to thank for this. <laughs> Trump has literally helped us. In so many different ways. 2021 started off with us uprooting and being able to point out white supremacy at the Capitol and watch them get fucked by police. And now 400 plus people have been arrested as co-conspirators in the storming of terrorists. They are terrorists. They are terrorists. Uh, and then we got news that the Proud Boys leader is a, a, is a government informant. And now we might literally end the bullshit that is the stock market. You gotta love this. Yo, you gotta love 2021. I know 2021 has been, is, is still rough because of all the COVID things. But this is, in the words of the eternal Thanos, this does put a smile on my face, man. Like, you gotta be shitting me. This is great. This is great. You got to love this. So, the short, right? What we're explaining. They bought it at a $10 premium, and they're going to sell it at a $5 loss. But that is a plus to them because they are shorting the market. When you short, you believe the market's going to low. So, as a collective group, Wall Street bets. This, this is the subreddit we're looking at right now. Wall Street bets. And make sure you guys can see them. This is where I'm getting this information from. If you want to know, this is where the petition will be started. If you want to know, you got need a you need a Reddit account. Get on there. Wall Street bets 
said, nah, everyone buy this. Everyone buy this. And by buying it, it puts the premium at a higher price so that at the end of their contract, they have to pay the differential. And you love to see it. You love to see it. Because that differential puts money in our pockets. We, we, the ones. We're the ones that get that differential. And I have made, I'm already up 400%. Oh, KOS, KOSS is up 200%. That, and I have made money off of the, these people. So I, I can't be mad. This is the market at its best. Free market, right? Let the market decide. The people have spoken. We're not afraid. We're not afraid of you. MSNBC put this twat on the screen talking about he looked so scared. Let me see if I can find the video. Let me see if I can find the video. He looked so scared. Oh, my God. What, what are we going to do? This is this is unbelievable. I, I can't believe that this is happening. And uh, we, we there needs to be some type of action. No. Remember, the housing market crashed and there was no buyout for people. The people always get stuck with the bill. And for the first time in a long time, the people are tired of your bullshit and they can do something about it. So let's see. Uh, actually, I want to know what stocks are being held up under one billion capital crypto. So crypto is going crazy right now. So we we'll, like we we'll, we'll just watch this, but it's I want to get some of these like talking head CEOs like, um like the dude from MSNBC that said uh who was just crying. So now you know that happened. So now every so this has been a four day event. Four day event, um, and I, I believe it was M NBC. I'm not sure, but uh, it was just like some dude that was just so who was so distraught, who was so distraught, and uh, the Ben Dixon show covered it. Actually, let's go to the Ben Dixon show. They, we know they have it, so let's go there. Let's go where, where's let's go where people. Are. Ben Dixon on Twitch and on uh, YouTube, great show. Follow them. You got six people watching with me. I love it, guys. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Um. Yeah, okay, this is it, I think. Oh, yeah, here he is. What, what, yeah, CNBC. Let me see if they hopefully tag the link. Um, CNBC, what's this dude's name? Uh, let me, uh, hold on. And shout out to Elon Musk. Shout out to Elon Musk, you feel me, for uh for for supporting the wave, even though his stock is doing horrible right now. But great time to buy, great time to buy, great time to buy. CNBC, GameStop segment. There we go. Yeah, I want I want y'all to see the tears. Like they think they they thought they had the answer. They really did think they had the answer, and now they're like, "All right, so let's let's get this let's get this one. Let's get this uh let's get this up so we can see this real quick, right?" Let's 
let's get this URL let's copy this let's bring this over here let's open up another one let's put this here let's put that there um, let's pause here let's get some music right hey guys I'm on a roll all right let's do this let's see what they got to say for themselves brokers about restricting trading on some names uh, the statement out of robin hood says our mission at robin hood is to democratize finance for all uh, we're proud to have created a platform that has helped everyday people from all backgrounds shape their financial futures and invest for the long term we continuously monitor the markets and make changes where necessary in light of recent volatility we are restricting transactions for certain securities to position closing only as for interactive brokers, uh, they say we've put AMC, BB, Express, GME, and costs option trading into liquidation only due to the extraordinary volatility in the markets. In addition, long stock positions will require 100% margin, and short requires 300% margin until further notice, David. Uh, that's likely to uh, raise some hackles. Uh, and some anger in certain sectors. Yep, I've seen it on Twitter already, as you point out, Carl. Uh, people upset at the idea that they can no longer buy, and it will have an impact. Uh, it would be curious to see just how much, of course, uh, but it will conceivably have an impact on shares of GameStop and many of the others, although, I mean, again, American Airlines this morning, that was unexpected. Better than expected numbers for a company that had been losing, what, $30 million a day, uh, but you can see there, the stock had been up as much as 50%. It's come in. GameStop is coming in. AMC, we talked about the conversion there by Silver Lake of 600 million of convertible notes into stock, given the conversion price was, well, it was at least uh, above, uh, excuse me, be well below where the stock was, although no longer. Uh, but Carl, this story is far from over. And again, I would come back to the broader story, which is you've had an enormous reduction in risk by many on Wall Street who run hedge funds who are now going to think very differently about how they go about shorting stocks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC. Shut up, Shepard Smith. We still know you work for Fox. Uh, so, uh, I'm trying to find that exact video. That's the one I really want. Um, David, we do have now some statements from Robinhood and Interactive Brokers about restricting here. trading on some names. Uh, the statement out of Robinhood says our mission at Robinhood. Today, the wild. And I like the video from yesterday was just so crazy. It was 27 minutes ago. I'm looking for the one from a day ago. They upload so much bullshit on this channel. God damn. Eighteen hours. Whirlpool. pool. He was crying and it was so funny to me. All right, welcome back to The Exchange. Well, overall, stocks sliding as the huge rally in names like GameStop raises concerns about speculation in the market. Many are starting to believe that the Fed's ultra-low rate free money strategy might just be contributing to this wild volatility. Imagine this that. Let's talk about everything that's going on and the Fed rate call and decision coming up in just under an hour. Is joining us now Brian Belsky. I might have to use the Ben Dixon because I, I can't Julia find Coronado. it. Founder of I want to. I want the Ben Dixon and Subaja Rajapa ahead of U.S. rate strategy at. Ben Dixon had a great story on it yesterday, so we'll just use him and send him a free shout out. Go subscribe to the Ben Dixon show, man. This dude is doing some amazing things. Uh, he's got his little army, and I love it. I love it. The Morning Trap is one hell of an army. Is this is the dude I'm looking for, and I can't find him. <laughs> Uh, and point seventy two, yeah, is the story of GameStop. Um, the news to bring you right now is that Melvin Capital Management. This is this this guy looks like he is. This guy looks like he is hurt that Melvin Capital is losing money. 
He is hurt that Melvin Capital is losing money. I can't believe they're losing money. I can't believe it. Nah, believe it, bro. Believe it, bro. Tesla's coming back. Dogecoin is up there, too. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's a that is a fact let's 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 watch this dude cry the hedge fund that had shorted uh this company that had effectively been attacked by an army of investors trying to Listen push to up and press attacked, up attacked 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 who hurt you who hurt you Look, listen to the language, the bullshit. The, the stock, rather, of GameStop along the way. Uh, Melvin Capital is now out of the stock. They got out of the stock, from what I understand, yesterday afternoon. Uh, I just got off the telephone with Gabriel Plotkin, who runs that firm. Uh, they've taken a, a rather huge loss. I do not have the full number on what that loss <laughs> looked like. Uh, as was reported yesterday, both Citadel uh, and 0.72 have infused something on the order of close to $3 billion into uh, Melvin Capital to try to shore up its finances. There's nothing normal about what you're seeing when it comes. And just think about that, right? If you didn't have three, if you missed your, your bills, if you couldn't pay your bills or something like that, and you went to the bank and said, hey, can I borrow $3 billion? How quickly would they call the police on you? You could be white and they'll call the police on you for that one. The fuck? Three billion? Comes to this stock yes, right now, is. but a lot to be concerned about when you think about what's happening so here. I love it when the people hold wall. This is great. I love it. I love it. Shout out to the... 10 people still watching with me. I, hey, I'm rocking with y'all, man. I'm here with it. But uh, let's now take a look at some of the stocks a little bit more in depth, right? So we have GameStop. GameStop is down right now. All the way down. But what does Reddit say about it? That's what we really want to know. What is Reddit talking about? And because you can't buy anything, people are like panicking from that. But I love it. The submission handling side of our bot is slowing way down and airing out. The submission feed is looking pretty rough. Not much we can do with 1.2 million online. Yeah. Uh, Reddit, Wall Street. That's crazy. Yeah, people are panic selling. You. I love that people are panic. Like, let the let the system continue panic because uh, the people who then there because there's the the opposite in, uh, the opposite in, in negative is also true for shorting the market. A bunch of billionaires who had way more money than me bought up all the contracts, and now that the stock is crashing, they're losing money too again. I am a swing trader. I got this stock when it was eight dollars. So even as the co <laughs> Even as the stock is sitting right now at uh, 196, 8 minus 196, somebody with better math skills, you do that for me. I am okay when, as I like I said, I'll let this shit go down to $9. Say, hey, I don't care. But I want to be for the people. I want to be for the people. Shout out to Oscar for sticking with us, man. I appreciate you being in here. So we're looking at GameStop, right? GameStop's in the trash, but let's see what the people want. What do the people want? On street bets. What are they talking about? This was updated. Updated. Um, that was for a moderator. No, I want the notes. Um, so let's go to the discussion. Uh, daily discussion thread. GME containing contaminant. Whatever the fuck is that? I want to know. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's see what everybody's talking about. What is everybody trying to buy right now? AMC on sale, 75% off, No, not advice, okay? Everyone is focused. 
Oh, yeah. So, and this is crazy. So, this is why <laughs> there's a lot going on here. So, here, here, here's, a, here's a theory I have. Reddit, Reddit's pretty good at, you know, managing these things, right? But now, this see this message? This is from an hour ago. So, like, are they slowing down? Are they slowing down Reddit so people can't trade as fast? Let's see. Up oh, two minutes ago. Let's get it, boys. It's shooting up. <laughs> I can't tame the tiger. <laughs> I love these people. I don't know who they are, but they are my brothers. Oh, buy cost right now. You got damn right. This is normal flow for the market. Cost is at $26. Buy it now. Like, oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And when you see these sharp edges, that's computer animated right there. You love to see it. They're trying their best. They are trying so hard to stop them. I love it. Where's AMC at? AMC. I got AMC when it was $2.34, so I'm still up on AMC. This is another AMC stock. Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll is down $4, but I got it when it was, what was it, $29? So I'm still up there. Oh, yeah. I Cost is my baby. I don't care. I got cost when it was, I got cost for, four, uh, for $10. So it's at $26. i am still up there. GME. GME is the only one I kind of feel salty about because I sold four, but I'm still living in it. I'm still living in it. Let's see. What else? I want to see another stock. Let's find another stock that they've been looking at. They said American Airline, right? Let's see what, what happened to American Airline. Duplicate. Let's see. American Airlines had a lot of love. A whole lot of love. Da -da, da -da, da -da. A whole lot of love. Da -da, da -da. Let the let the buyback begin, baby. I got ten people watching with me. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, supporting small YouTubers. Make sure you give the channel a like, a sub, a share, and don't just like share it on social media because you know they're gonna suppress it. Copy the link, send it to your ex boyfriend or ex girlfriend in a text, and if you do, once they're on, I'll tell them to go fuck themselves. Because they let a good one get away from them. Even the internet. Even like the website is slowing down. This is unacceptable. They are systematically trying to find ways of slowing this shit down. Okay, wow. That's crazy. Weeble. <laughs> what up, Ashley? Send it. Send it to Marcus. Tell him. Tell them to jump on here right now. Tell them to jump on here right now. Got 11 people rocking with me. I appreciate you guys. I need, if you have a Gmail account, I need you to jump on your Gmail account right now. If you have a Gmail account, go to Twitch. Uh, let me find this shit for y'all because that's a lot to type. You know what I noticed? I can't keep telling y'all to do stuff. I could just put it in the chat box for you guys. Uh, what do you What do you want to know? Ashley asked me the question. I can help you out. What's up? What are you trying to know? Because like I've explained like what's going on, but if you have a specific question, sure, shoot it. I got you. Like right now, to be honest, you can get into the trading market, but it's so dangerous. It's so dangerous. I'm not gonna sit here and stunt. I don't want none of my people to lose money, but it's tough right now to try and say like uh, this is a good time to make like make money. This is not a, like because the market is such flux right now. It's such a flux. This is the Twitch. This is the Twitch account. Brokers about restricting trading. This is the Twitch account. So you don't have to go look for it. Just click on that link and sub to the Twitch account. I need one more person to join me on Twitch and we hit our goal for Twitch subs. ET Facts, GME took a dip for real. I'm okay with that dip. I love this dip. This dip is great because you know what that means? There's a bunch of people. There's a bunch of people who can now buy in. 
Because when it was $400, that's too much goddamn money. But 233 I could do that. I could buy two shares of that. Join us. Join us in the revolution. <laughs> Eric, what you talking about? GME took a dip for real. Uh, they don't want you to make money. You're not supposed to be as smart as them. No, you're not. If they if they don't like the system, then they shouldn't they shouldn't have allowed people to get filthy rich off of it. Freaking Allen knife. Eric, my boy, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, I'm sorry he's at work right now. Eric is uh, my partner in crime for this. Like, Weeble is shut the fuck down. So we're going to have to go to Google Finance or something like that. Uh, Google, I don't know how to spell finance. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Google money. <laughs> And that's the pro exactly, Jesse. We can't buy the stock right now, and that's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. We boys crash absolutely tank. It's like it's over with. So we're gonna Google Finance right now because it is totally tanked, and we're gonna look up American Airlines because that's what everybody was talking about. Uh. Yeah, American, American Airlines is tanking. Like, the market is... I love it. I love it. Because a bunch of old, rich, white people are leaving the market. And it's creating space. And the true value of these stocks have to come to light. I don't own any shares in American Airlines, so I don't care. But this is great. BBB is still up. And all my stocks are triggered for stop losses, so I don't care. And I have insurance on my ship for TD Ameritrade. So I'm guaranteed those prices that I get. I love it. It's already going back up. I love it. I'm okay with this. Tootsie Row. I know you're probably wondering why I'm looking at this subpar ass candy bar. It's not even a candy bar. It's just. It's, if I had to describe a Tootsie Row, it is mashed potatoes that are thicker than they're supposed to be. With some hint of chocolate. Flavor. Not cocoa. Flavor. Tootsie Rolls are disgusting. But they're up $37. And I love it. I love it. Did I, did somebody did somebody get on the Twitch? Did somebody get on the Twitch? Who got on the Twitch? Nope. Nobody got on the Twitch. I need one more, one more person for Twitch. Man... You're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. <laughs> Jordan, you are absolutely right, bro. Uh, where are we going? Let's go back to Wall Street Bets and let's see what let's see what the people are pushing because the market is going back up. So clearly this this channel is buzzing right now. Uh, we like the stocks. Hedge funds of the fucking internet. Seems like every night. Don't care who's wrong or right. I hope the end is like slow it down and we can catch the vibes. The vibes. The vibes.